I can't believe you are finally standing here about to be married. Standing here with you today, surrounded by our family and friends, made the last year so worth it. I questioned pretty much everything about life last year, but the one thing I never doubted was you. Um, Dana's always been dedicated and loyal and kind and just a driven, amazing, amazing person. She is the kind of person who will give the, you the shirt off of her back. When she gets home, you can expect a text from Dana with a link to that shirt. <laughs> so you can go and, and buy that shirt for yourself and you won't be caught topless next time. Dana, I know that you are a living, breathing human being with thoughts and feelings and a family, but I am convinced that you were created in a lab to be Kevin's partner. When I met Kevin, he was 18 going on 40. He already had his double major chosen. He was on the way to becoming the next Warren Buffett. And I could barely point out Providence on the map. Um, and Kevin is one of the few people that I know that back then when we were all still trying to figure out who we, we are and who we wanted to be, he knew exactly who he was and who he wanted to be, and it's inspiring. Kevin and I both enjoy a good beer. One of our favorites is Pliny the Elder. Once a year, the brewer has a really special limited release. It's called Pliny the Younger. To get it, you have to wait in line for hours. I'm talking to Dana, and she says, yeah, I went with a, on a date with this guy from Boston. And what do you think they did? They went to Pliny the Younger. I might like this guy. We even have our, our own Pliny in our family now, Dean and Kevin's beautiful golden retriever Pliny. Kevin began sneaking away from our various activities to spend time with a secret someone. And it wasn't until the early morning hours of a winter evening on Union Street that Kev worked up the courage to finally introduce us to his girlfriend, Dana. I've watched them become perfect for each other. We are so grateful that Dana was able to look past Kevin's three-week Movember mustache on their first date. She is loyal and just dedicated and is with those qualities that she takes the next steps into her marriage with a partner who sees her and loves her for everything that she is. One of the things I love most about you is how you're always so well prepared for everything. <laughs> and this year, in the past year, uh, needless to say, that was definitely tested. <laughs> but the way you handled it just made me love you even more with such always grace and beauty. Today, as we stand here finally becoming husband and wife, <laughs> I can't help but think about our future and the life we will continue to build together. Life has thrown us a lot already, and I know there is more to come, but I can't wait to take on those challenges with you. May all your hopes and dreams come true. I wish you health and happiness, lifetime of love. I love you both. Cheers. I am so incredibly happy and excited to see what's next for you guys because I know it's just going to be so amazing. Hey, we just want to say thanks and uh, thank our parents, families, and all of you for being here. Um, it means a lot. It's been a long 18 months and uh, for all of us, and we're just so glad we could celebrate today. We're just so grateful that all of you are here. Like we said, we waited a year for this, so party accordingly. I love the life we've started to create, and I'm even more excited about our future together. If this past year was any indication, our marriage may not follow a linear path, but that's okay, because there isn't anyone else I'd rather navigate through this journey than with you. You are my person in every way, 
and I could not be more excited to continue our life together as husband and wife.